my name is Natalia and today I'm going to show another card DIY because a lot of you have requested another one so today I'm going to show a very special one because this card here is magical truly magical it looks like this and when you pull the end here the colors appear and then when you put it back in the colors disappear and I made some different cards so I can get some inspiration on how they can look and this is another one where the sun looks like this and there are some clouds but when you pull it, the sunshine appears and there's the little plane that says you are my sunshine. Isn't that cute? And you can use these cards for any occasion, birthdays or Valentine or Mother's Day which is next week so these are a great idea to give to your mother. How does it work? I don't know. Stick around to find out and let's just get started. Now take your A4 size construction paper and then fold it in half. And then cut out one of the halves. If your paper has some ruffled edges on the side you just cut, you can take your box cutter and just cut that off. Then on one of the short sides, measure 1cm inwards. Make a mark and then draw the line. Then place your ruler on the line and then fold the paper over it. And give it a good squeeze. Then take the paper and then fold it in half. And then press down on the fold to make the score very obvious. Now on the side where there is no fold, you need to make 1cm markings inwards into the paper on each of the sides. So make the markings and then draw the lines. Now this inner rectangle needs to be cut out, so take your box cutter and your cutting board and then cut it out. Then take your white construction paper and then measure inwards 1cm. Then make your mark and then draw a line that's at the same height as your card, which in my case is 14.5cm. Then place your card at the line you just made and then draw around the card. Now we need to add an additional centimeter on this outer line. So make your mark and then draw the line. And then cut it out. Then place your ruler on the line you made and then fold the paper over it. And do this with the other side as well. And give the score a good squeeze to make it more obvious. Then place it inside the frame to see where that fits. If a small amount is showing, just cut a few millimeters off. Then put some glue on the small flaps and then place it inside the card once again. Then glue the flaps to the frame card. So this inner piece is glued to the flap of the card and the frame itself. And it still has two openings, which is important. Now we need to glue the frame down, so put some glue on the flap of the card and then glue the frame onto it. Now we need to glue one of the ends together. So move the inner piece away and then put some glue on the back to make the back and the inner piece stick together. And give it a good squeeze to make it stick properly. Now we need to make one of the sliding pieces. So take your card and place it on the white construction paper and then draw around it. Then you need to add 2 cm on the smaller end to make the gripping part. So add your centimeters and then make a mark and then draw it up. And then cut it out. Now try and see whether the sliding piece fits. If it doesn't, you need to take a few millimeters off the edges because the sliding piece needs to slide easily in and out. 
Now the other sliding piece is made from the plastic pocket. Make sure it's only one side you're using, so you don't make duplicates. Now place the first sliding piece on top of the plastic pocket and then draw around it. Then at the small side of the rectangle, add an additional centimeter. And then cut it out. Then try and place this sliding piece in the card and see whether it fits or slides easily. If it doesn't slide easily, you need to cut a few millimeters off the edges. Now we need to connect the two sliding pieces together and you can use the piece you cut out earlier for this purpose. Now make some marks on the cutout piece while the two sliding pieces still are in the card. Now measure the length of this handle piece and double it because we need to cover both of the sides. Then complete the handle by drawing the lines needed and then cut it out. Then place your ruler on the markings you first made on this handle and then fold the paper over it. See if it fits or needs some alterations. Then take both of the sliding pieces out, then put some glue on the handle, then glue one sliding piece to the handle at a time. Then take the opaque sliding piece and then slide it into the frame area. And then mark up each of the corners with your pencil. Now within these four corners is where you can draw anything. Then sketch something sweet or cute but not too complicated and then color it. When the colors have set, you can take your razor and erase all the pencil markings. Then fold the transparent sliding piece over the drawing and then re-sketch everything or some smaller pieces with a black marker. Now it's time to reassemble the card. So take the opaque sliding piece and then slide it in the back of the card behind the inner piece. Then take the transparent sliding piece and then slide it right in front, right in the frame area. And that's it! Now we can even make some more lovable ones for your girlfriend on Valentine's or for your mother on Mother's Day. I hope you enjoy watching and thank you for leaving a like, I really appreciate it. And if you have any ideas, suggestions or questions you want to ask me, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll show you part afterwards. And if you want to see the upcoming videos, please subscribe and be a part of our lovely DIY family here and the blue tube box. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!